Hey YouTube, this is April from the Resellers Learning Curve. I'm coming to you today with a quick video because I have a tip for people who are getting started out in the reselling business or even if you're a little bit of a veteran in the reselling business, um, something that I see a lot, and when I say I see it a lot is more often than not, um, the reason people struggle in this business is that they do not pick a niche. They do not focus on one particular area in which to build their business. Um, there are a lot of different ways you can make a living reselling. You can sell online, which a lot of us do, eBay, Amazon, Etsy, Mercari, um, all of those apps are awesome. You can sell online, that's a great way to make a living. You can also set up an antique booth. Um, a lot of cities have those where you pay a fee, you go in, you set up your stuff, and you sell it there. That's awesome. You can sell at flea markets. That's another way to make a good living in the resale business. However, the most detrimental thing you can do to your business is to not focus on a particular area and dive deep into that area. Here's what brought this to mind for me. Um, I am a member of a group where there are a lot of pretty good resellers. I mean, it's a paid group. So the people in this group actually pay money to be in the group to expand their knowledge in the reselling industry, which is awesome. But I would say people are very prone to what I would call squirrel syndrome, meaning the newest, next big thing. People jump on that bandwagon and if nothing else, it's a major distraction to really learning how to do what we do well. Um, in particular, I remember a few months ago when ebooks were the hot thing. Everyone was selling ebooks, and some people were being really successful with that. So people who had been reselling online kind of scaled back on their on their resale business to focus on creating these ebooks because apparently that was the new hot way to make money. Um, a lot of people will start off selling clothing because it's such a low point of entry and they'll decide for whatever reason that they need to dive into electronics or they're going to start selling jewelry or they're going to do a number of things and what that does is it takes the focus away from what you're trying to do which is build a business in order to build a, a successful business you need to have some bit of focus so that's my tip for you guys today is to just focus in on an area and dive deep and learn that area. In case you did not know, my primary area that I sell in is men's clothing and shoes. I've been doing this for about three years now. And in that three years, my knowledge has expanded exponentially. I did not know much when I started at all. But by sticking with men's clothing, I've learned all sorts of neat tips, tricks, um, shortcuts. I can basically walk into a thrift store today and just run my hand down a rack of blazers and I can feel anything that's of exceptional quality just by touching it. And the reason I gained that knowledge is because I haven't jumped around a whole bunch. I've always sold men's, men's clothing. That's always been my bread and butter item. So my tip for you today is to focus in, find your niche, and just learn that as, as best you can. Um, so I hope that this video has been helpful to you guys. And as always, I encourage you to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments, and I'll get to you as soon as I can. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Bye.